What's up everybody? God bless. It's your brother in Christ Church, Way in Covington. Happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of y'all. I pray that your day is blessed and filled with love and joy. And I pray that you are able to share this day with, with the people that you love as well. All glory be to God. I just want to get on here and share a quick word of encouragement with you all. It's a pretty day outside and the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. and We got to thank the Lord for giving us this, this beautiful day. This beautiful day of love to share with each other. But in the midst of us sharing love with each other, let us not forget about our Lord and Savior. The one that has the greatest love for us all. So I just want to get on here and share a quick word from the Bible. I'm going to be reading from St. Mark chapter 2. And I'm going to read verses... 17 and the word of God verses 16 and 17 the word of God says and when the scribe and Pharisees saw him eat with the public publicans and sinners they said unto his disciples how is it that he eat and drank with publicans and sinners when Jesus heard it he said unto them they that are whole have no need of a physician but they that are sick I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. See, the Lord was telling the Pharisees, even though they were sitting by judging him, he was telling them that those that are whole, whole mean those that are healthy, those that are well. Those that are healthy and well, they don't need to see a doctor because they're healthy and well. But those that are sick, they the one that needs help. They're the ones that need the healing. They're the, one, they're the ones that need to be delivered. Those that are lost in the name of Jesus. See, Jesus was talking about the sinners. He was saying that those that... Hey, good morning. How you doing? God bless you. He was saying that those are sick. Those are lost. Those are the ones that need the Savior. See, those that are righteous and those that are saints already have been saved. So there's no need. There's there they're okay, they're fine. But the Lord is calling the sinners to repentance. The ones that's that's that strung out on drugs, the ones that is lost in the world and living without God. He's calling those to repentance. See, that's why Jesus was sitting with the sinners. Because they were saying, Well, how can you say that you the son of God and you're righteous and you so holy, but you're sitting over here eating and drinking with sinners? See, that's what the Lord do. He come to sit and, and to, to minister to the sinners so that they can be saved. If he didn't go to the sinners, then how can they be saved? That's what it's about. We can't think that because we're saved and we're saints that we can't go minister to the ones that are, that are using drugs, that are ones that is in the streets and lost. Those are the ones we're supposed to be going to minister to. Those are the ones we're supposed to be going to preach the gospel to. So take that message with you to the day. And not only have the church inside of you when you are inside of the church in the building but take the church with you outside of the church in the highways in the streets and take the church with you and do the church work and let god's will be done so god bless you all and may you all have a wonderful day let love guide you and let jesus guide you and order your footsteps and you will be blessed god bless